Meet Starquisha White, the new girl in school. Hi! Starquisha is nervous. At her old school, she had a lot of friends, but a new school means she has to start over. She's especially worried about her unique name. At her old school, names like Starquisha were common, but not so much here. She hopes people will look past her strange name and be her friend anyway. No, Starquisha gonna be fine, girl. Starquisha is fierce. She is anxious but can't wait to make new friends. Girl, I already told you, I'm fierce. I'm gonna be fine. Just then, Cassie, the mean girl in school, walks out to Starquisha. Are you the new girl? Yes, I am. Do you want me to help you get to your uh, class? Sure. Okay. You're in D Hall. Let me show you. All right. Thank you. So, what's your name? I'm Starquisha. That's an interesting name. Well, since I was born, my parents knew I was going to be Star. Also, they like astronomy. Cool. Girl, start Quisha. Yeah, she's in my ninth class. She's really funny, and I love her name. Are you kidding me? Named after astronomy? That's so lame. Well, I don't think it's that bad. Excuse me? I mean, it's totally weird. I mean, astronomy? How terrible. Thursday? So what's name? I don't really think it's that terrible. My real name's Andromeda, after all, named after the constellation. I think Star's name is cool. I don't know why Cassie's being so mean. She always uses people who have weird names like that. I don't really, I don't really agree with what she does, but I'm too afraid of her to stand up or say anything. Even though she's my friend, I don't want her to turn on me. Are you ready to go to home ed? Yeah, let's go. Wait, doesn't Bryce Girls, have I got a story to tell you. Uh, so, today in science, uh... Excuse me, are you talking to us? Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, my mind just naturally blocks out the voices of annoying eras. <laughs> who? Me? Uh, yeah, I guess I just thought that everyone who was named after the balls of gas had the same amount of hot air in their head. <laughs> Cassie really surprised me. When she helped me to class, I thought I'd found a friend. I guess not, though. Why would she say that to me? I explained my, my name's origin, and she seemed to understand. Maybe things will be better tomorrow. Hopefully she can come off and stop teasing me for something that I can't change. Hey, Starquisha. Hey. Hey. I was wondering, do you have a hard time keeping your feet on the ground? No. Why? Because hot air rises. <laughs> Hey Star, just leave me alone, Cassie. I just want you to know I think you're really brave. Brave? Yeah, I didn't mean like Star Quisha. I don't think I'd come to school. Cassie is so mean. How does she know just what to say to make me feel like I'm worthless? Oh. I can handle a few mean comments now and then, but this is just getting out of hand. I don't know what to do. I don't want to tell my parents, so they'll just make it a bigger deal than what it is. So will my teachers. I guess I'll just have to deal with it myself. I just wish I knew why she, needs to feel, uh, she feels the need to be so mean to me. I don't hate Starquisha. Anne's right. She is funny and nice. But I could be the one getting teased. If anyone figured out what Cassie stands for, I'll be the one getting teased and I don't want that. Cassie, Starquisha, and Anne all have the same problem. They don't want to be teased for their names. Sarquisha deals with it by trying to ignore the bullies and sticking with her name. Anne hides her name from her best friend and goes along with everything to keep from being bullied. And Cassie bullies others to keep them from finding out the truth. All three of them are dealing with the same problem in three different ways. If they only knew what the others were going through, maybe the whole fiasco would have been avoided.